of our strategic policy should be moral. India doesn't believe in a world order where few are considered superior to others. India's actions are guided by the very essence of human equality and dignity, which is a part of our ancient ethos, and it's a strong moral foundation and gives us our political strength. Even our freedom struggle was based on the bedrock of high moral values. Therefore, real quality cannot be the fig leaf for being immoral or amoral. Rather, enlightened self-interest of nations can be promoted within the framework of strategic morality, which is predicted on the understanding and the respect for the legitimate strategic imperatives of all the civilized nations. Friends, it is for this reason that when we partner any nation, it is on the basis of the sovereign equality and mutual respect. Forging relations come naturally to India as we work towards mutual economic development. It is thus oft that we all are exploring solutions to the problems such as terrorism, climate change, destruction, etc. that transcend national boundaries today. It is gratifying to know that you all are having enriching discussions and building upon your experiences to prepare a roadmap that can contribute towards building a better world. Friends, in the construct in the context of the Indo Pacific, I would like to highlight India's vision by reiterating the statement of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi during the Sangrila dialogue at Singapore on 1st June 2018. He had said that India stands for a free, open and inclusive region which embraces, which embraces us all in a common pursuit of progress and prosperity. He put forth our idea of ASEAN centrality in the Indo-Pacific region and further stated that our common prosperity and security requires us to evolve through dialogue a common rules-based order of the region. The Indo-Pacific region remains important for the economic development of not only the regional but also the wider global community. Century-old lanes crisscrossing the region have helped in enhance trade. They have also functioned as an arterial connection to bring about a fusion of cultures and ideas. It is these very waters that carried the message of peace, enlightenment, hope and well-being centuries ago. Today, we may speak different languages, but there remains a deeper connect that allows us to share a common message of unity across the Indo-Pacific region. 